Hello everyone, this is Rishali. In previous sessions, we discuss about all the requirement analysis models with example. I have mentioned complete software engineering subject playlist link in below description box. Now, in today's session, we will discuss about the next important point that is data modeling. Let's start the session. In today's session, we will discuss about what is data modeling, types of data models, why data modeling, data modeling techniques and tools and some important questions that have asked in previous year question paper. Let's see all these points one by one. Now the first thing is what exactly data modeling. See when you develop a particular product, you can use different database for storing different types of information, right? There are various applications like social media application, WhatsApp, Facebook, then different banking application, reservation application, gaming applications. So each and every application having their own database. They stored information as per the requirement. So data modeling is just explaining and visualizing how data used by the particular software. They just visualize the information like which type of information stored in database. Now just see here. This is the unstructured data. This is a corporate data where customer address, customer name, product purchase, contract details, it shows the information. But the data modeling convert this unstructured data into the structured format by using different techniques and tools. See here, there is a customer data, their attributes like ID, name, address, product data, their attributes. So it shows the structured information. So that's why it's very easy to understand and easy to fetch the information, right? So this is called as data modeling. Data modeling visualize the data by using different techniques and tools. Next. Now the next one is the types of data models. There are total three types of data model. Conceptual, logical and physical. Let's understand the first type like conceptual data model. So conceptual data model is just a front view of data. See here in this example, customer sale product. It shows only front end information. They show entity, attributes and their relationship only three things. Customer, their customer number and name and customer sale the product, product code and product name. So it shows the only front view information. So it makes communication easy and clear to all stakeholders, all users, customer easily understand which type of information have stored and they reduce the communication gap between customer and the developer. Next. Now, the next one is a logical data model. So logical data model is a detailed description of each and every entity and their attributes and their relationship. It's represent primary key, foreign key, then parent child relationship of the class. See here in this example, customer sell a product. So customer and their attributes like their ID, name, address, product having their attributes, ID, name and other attributes, sales. Now sales relationship also having their own attributes, right? Sale ID, then a sale date, etc. So it shows the detailed relationship between that. Now it use a primary key and foreign key concept. Primary key means unique identity, unique value. So customer, each and every customer having their own ID, that is primary key. Product also having unique value, that is product ID. And sale, sale also having own sale number, that is sale ID. And this sale, extract information from the customer and the product. So that's why they use customer ID and product ID primary key. So it shows the relationship between the tables, right? Next. The next and last type of data model is physical data model. So physical data model represent an actual database layout like uh, that can be developed by database administrator or database uh, developers. So it shows the complete technical view of data like which type of table have stored in database, which type of columns, their data types, their constraints, primary key, triggers, stored procedure. So they show every information that's stored in database. Just see here, customer sells a product. So customer having customer ID, name. So ID is a string type, name is a string type, address is also a string type, contact number is a numeric or integer type. They show the data types of each and every uh, attributes each and every columns right so it gives a more detailed information of actual database which is developed by different database like sql oracle etc next now next thing is why data modeling is used so the main purpose of data modeling is 
they building a complete information system and database that's why easy to understand which type of information have stored and you can easily access those data due to data modeling it helps the management to take a decision because it show all the features all the information and their constraints stored in database you can efficiently apply different functions on that and all the stakeholders it get clear and easy understanding like what type of information have stored right and every data uh, database having their own rules and policies they apply those rules and policies for storing all those informations next now next one is data modeling techniques there are different ways to visualize and represent the data so there are total five uh, data modeling techniques like object oriented entity relationship network hierarchical and relational let understand in detail now the first data modeling technique is hierarchical model so it shows the tree structure information see here college college having department and infrastructure department also having course teacher student course also having theory and lab so it shows the tree structure information there is only one parent node this parent node having two child this parent having three child means there are one parent but multiple child this is a concept it's very easy and simple to understand and it can be used in simplex data model not a complex data model right next now the next model is network model so network model it shows the advanced information than hierarchical model it shows the graph like structure see here for example store so in store there are customer manager and salesman so customer manager salesman handle the order and salesman also handle the items here child node also having multiple parents in hierarchical there is only one parent and multiple child but here multiple child and multiple parent nodes are there so navigation is faster it there and uh, that can be used in simplex model when uh, it gets very complex when data is large right next now the next model is object oriented model so object oriented model is very popular by using object oriented programming language right in object oriented programming language there are different real world objects are used and their attributes are there see here in this example person so there are different types of person like student doctor and engineer but every person having their own attributes like name of the person age of the person these are the objects and person use set name this method so basically it shows every class that is person class student class doctor class every class which type of attributes and which type of methods are there right student student having roll number branch and set marks doctor doctor having doctor id specialist then count operation method engineer engineer having engineer id department and count page method in this way so this is a object oriented model it shows detail information of object methods and their features now the next one is entity relationship model i think you all are familiar with this er model that will be used in database management system this model represent a high level system or real world problem see here professor teaches a subject it shows the relationship between professor and student they also show the attributes of the professor like professor so professor name professor id then professor gender age contact number subject so subject having subject id subject name so basically this er model easily understand all the technical and non technical persons right so this is a er model next the next one is a relational model so among all the other model the most popular model is relational model that will be mostly used in real life here all the entity information represented in tabular format and all attributes are represented in column format see here here each and every tables are given me this type of tables are present in database like department table college table role master college employee class details course details student details then a department having their id name then a uh, student details also having id name and their relationship between each and every tables like so every detail information with primary key foreign key have stored here they represent how many tables have stored in database and which type of relationship between all these tables next now uh, in today's world there are different types of data modeling tools are available you can use those tools for developing data modeling techniques 
or uh, to generating data modeling diagrams like mysql workbench er studio data modeler sql client draw.io so this type of tools are easily available you can use those tools for generating the diagrams now in your previous year question paper they asked what is meant by network diagram what are the different ways of drawing network diagram and explain data modeling in detail for 7 marks so you have to prepare these topics in detail so all about data modeling thank you keep learning